From DPS to ADOT, now we have Caroline Carpenter from the Arizona Department of Transportation. Caroline, thank you so much for being with us. We just saw one of the ADOT cameras. You could see that it was shaking a little bit. Obviously, the winds have picked up. Um, can you tell us where, if you see any trouble spots throughout the valley from your cameras? Right, so we're seeing some of the heaviest downpours, first dust, then some rain, and heaviest downpours on Loop 101 through Scottsdale as well as Tempe. We've seen some heavy downpours on US 60 as well as the Loop 202 Red Mountain, still dealing with some very heavy rain, and that storm is expected to continue to move through the city, so we want drivers to really remember to try avoiding to driving into the storm. That's the number one tip to avoid getting yourself into a problem or a problem area is avoid driving into it. Yeah, and this is the camera that we are referring to. I don't know if you could see it on our screen as well, but this is the Loop 202 eastbound uh, near Dobson right here. You can see it shaking just a little bit and the rain definitely coming down pretty strong here because you can see it is quite hazy here um, from all that downpour that's coming through. Um, I'm wondering, do you see any accidents at all just yet? Because we are approaching, we are actually in the middle of rush hour right now at 413. A lot of people coming back from that 4th of July uh, week of being on holiday break. And so obviously more cars are probably on the road today versus last week. Are you seeing any trouble spots as far as accidents? We are not. We do have one crash that's blocking the shoulder, and that's on I-10 um, near State Route 143. But otherwise, as far as crashes go, we're looking at pretty good so far. And, and Caroline, um, we had Bart Graves on the phone with us just a few minutes ago, and inevitably, just because so much rain comes down in such a short period of time that the pumps just can't handle all the rain sometimes. Are you hearing any problem areas in any of these underpasses? No, we're not having any issues. We're not hearing any reports of any problems. Our pumps uh, can pump more than 12,000 gallons of water per minute, so they really are designed to keep up. Occasionally, we do get those very, very heavy downpours where it is a problem, but things are looking good so far. And I know you're probably really utilizing that traffic operations center where you have crews there. You've got the giant screens where you get to see all of the multiple cameras. How do you guys use that to your advantage and to our advantage as citizens and drivers on days when we have these giant monsoon storms? Well, you know, for us, we can tell you that the... Caroline, are you with us? Oh, all right. Sorry for the difficulties that we're having. Yes. Uh, okay. Did you did you hear the question that Brandon had just asked? Yes. Yeah, so you were asking about how we use our cameras in our travel center, correct? Yes, that's correct. All right. So um, we're utilizing those cameras to communicate information out to the public. So our traffic operators are there uh, sending out our crews to any areas that may need some extra help. And then we also have the Department of Public Safety troopers that are also located in there, and they can help get help out to areas where maybe there's a crash going on and we need to clear the lanes. We're also in there sending pictures out via Twitter, via social media, because while we'll tell you, hey, the roads are bad, there's a lot of dust, um, visibility may be low, you may want to put off your travel. When you really see those photos, that's really what seems to click with people and they start to understand how bad the weather is. Yeah, Caroline, you guys are always so great at giving the most up to date information, both on your big signs that are hovering over the freeway as well as through social media. We thank you so much for your time and we may check back with in with you uh, throughout the hour. Thank you so much. Okay.